here in Madison Square Garden. This crowd is really wound up. And with 20 seconds to go, and the Knicks down by one, Reggie Reynolds, the standout from Will Foster High School, in only his second year in the NBA, is set to take the inbound pass. Reggie Reynolds, the standout from Will Foster High School, in only his second year in the NBA, is set to take the inbound pass. It's make or break time here, and with just seconds left in this championship game, the hopes and dreams of this team are riding on the shoulders of this kid from Brooklyn as he brings the ball to half court. But first, he's got to get past defensive all-star number 15, Joe Binford. Binford is lightning fast and a tough match for Reynolds. But he blows past Binford, making it look easy and avoiding the charge as well. Reynolds weaves through the full court pressure, and it looks like he's going to face a tough double team. But he splits the trap, leaving the defense flat on their feet. He slashes toward the hoop, and what a move! This Reynolds kid is making it look too easy. He's driving in, and three, two, one, the shot's up there! Sorry. Bear some change, man? Uh, sorry, man. I gotta go. Reynolds, you're late. Your brother's downstairs, honey, go. Where were you? School was out an hour ago. I was goofing around, kind of. Goofing around? Your sister's waiting to go to her dance lessons, and you goofing around. And don't forget to pick her up on time, either. All right, Mama. Boy. Think you can make the rest of the way by yourself? Yeah, if I wanted to. Those girls still teasing you? A little. Look, if they start again, you tell them to back off. All right? Or they got to answer your older brother Reggie Reynolds, the Duke of Dunk. All right? All right. Okay. Bye, Duke of Dunk. Hi, Michelle. No, it's me, Shell. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. It was me, Shell, until the end of sophomore year. You <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's it, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, you see that guy over there with the ball? That's my rascal. Mm -hmm. This guy, George, I'm trying to hook him up. Yeah, back on top, back on top. Oh, and quick, see who's got the ball now? Yeah, that's Khalil. He's mine. <laughs> So are we to Oops Guy, Courtney? Uh, yeah, sure. 
Please do not tell me you're looking at Reggie Reynolds. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Reggie the Wedgie? <laughs> Let's just say Reggie's not a player. No. Um, no, I just thought for a second that he looked familiar. Damn, Khalil, don't make me do this, man. Don't make me punk you in front of everybody. Don't make me show left and go right, man. Oh my God, don't make me put it on a string. Where you at, huh? Don't make me break you, boy. Yo, you gonna talk or you gonna play? <laughs> Both of y'all. No, just chill, Roscoe. You all right? Yeah. Oh, man, my knee. Damn. That was definitely a charge, man. Of course it was a charge. You give me a rifle for tries? Hell yeah. All right, cool. Thank you, man. What's up? What's up, Rush, Yo, you see that? Yeah, I saw that, man. Watch your stomach. I mean, they can fake you with that left and right, but you watch your stomach. I mean, it tells you what you need to know. Can't get much worse, can I? No, man. You're terrible out there. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad me and Roscoe go to the same school, because I'd hate to face him in a tournament. I know what you mean. Hey, so, um, you gonna be our manager again this year? Maybe, but, you know, I've been practicing all summer, so I was thinking... What was you thinking? I was thinking I'd try out for the team, man. Try out? You know how to play? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, 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 definitely. Oh, definitely. Hey, there's no harm in trying. All right. Yo, man. Yo, that final look assist is vibing you big time, son. That girl right there, huh? Yeah. Hey, Khalil, man. Jacob's out. We're short a player. We got Reynolds. Ah! It's like Yo, you ain't even there. Come on. Bring it to the top. Bring it to the top. Ah! Lessons from the water boy again, Cleo? No, maybe that's what we all need, huh? Lessons from the water boy. Manager. <laughs> oh, manager. You know what? My game obviously needs some work, water boy. So let's go one on one and give me some pointers. <laughs> oh, my bad. Come on, teach. Teach me something. Show me, like, how you talk, Cleo. Yo, man, you don't even gotta go out there, man. Just trying to punk you. Don't even sweat it, man. Yo, Reg, man, don't even sweat it, man. Oh, man, I need your help. Seriously. Because I've only been all city two years in a row. Right. Come on, now. Come and get some. Come on, teach. Teach me something. Where you at? Huh? Come on. Oh, get off me. <laughs> hey, don't forget to watch the stomach. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Boom! <laughs> nice try. But it's not a big boy's boy. Oh! Oh, that was dead hurt! <laughs> Get the hell off my court! Hey, look, it's Uncle Joe, man! Yo! Yes, sir! Thanks for the lesson, water boy. When I'm balling at Georgetown, I'll sign your T-shirt. Maybe. 
He shoots. He scores. That's right. Uncle Joe is in the house. Come on, I got more stuff for everybody. Is that right up, gentlemen? Genuine Duke of Dunks, compliments to Eric Colon and Uncle Joe. Where's my superstar? Come on, Roscoe. Come on, baby. You get your pick first now. The hero of the hard court, the Sultan of Slam, 360-degree whirling dervish of Dunk. How you have doing? Give it a like, but now y'all get yours. Now you, now I know you, one pair. So what's next, baby? Oh, we got trials coming up. Trials? You need to be trying out for the NBA, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring some scouts to that first game, some NBA scouts. So I'm gonna look out for you, you my future. Look, Reg, man. Why are you putting yourself through all that, man? You got things you're good at. What you need this for? What's up, baby? You're looking fine today. See, that's it, Khalil. I mean, what you're good at makes you a star in school, man. Finding the value of X plus Y, it don't get you that. <laughs> so what, I'm at that now? I'm going to keep practicing, and I'm going to make the team. What's up, baby? Don't mean any harm. Usually have the place to myself. The heck you doing out here anyway? Taking a shortcut, you mind? Will you look at that? This is a piece of work. It's like a piece of junk to me. <laughs> Kidding? Let's see. Motorola, 1965-66. It's in excellent shape. It's a genuine antique and money in the bank. You know. It never ceases to amaze me what fools will throw away. I mean, look at this stuff. Car stereo. Nothing but a knob missing. Fine old toaster. Needs a plug. Pretty little music box. Well, what she gonna do with this stuff? Well, fix them up, sell them. Or use the parts to make something else and sell that. So what, are you some kind of junk dealer? Let's just say I see the value in things other folks think is worthless. Tell you what, why don't you put the ball down, help me carry this beauty back to my truck? I don't think so, man. Oh, yeah. Looking for some space, huh? So you can sit around here and mope. Must be uh, down in the dumps. Get it? Down in the dumps? <laughs> Kids, no sense of humor. Like no one's ever felt sorry for themselves over basketball before. What? You can't play b-ball like your hoops are friends, so no one thinks you're worth paying attention to. Including you. How'd you know all... I'll tell you what. Help me get that set back to my store and you can take out anything you can carry on your own. Come on. What kind of stuff you got? Stuff you haven't even dreamed of. What do you call this? That is a self-contained pancake maker. Invented it myself. You pour your mix in here, then it spits out about seven a minute. Buttermilk, buckwheat, multigrain. <laughs> and this? Portable shortwave. I made it out of old transistors. This thing gets more signals than most of today's digital jobs. And this? Self-cleaning hairbrush. <laughs> so people actually buy this stuff, huh? They're the smart ones. 
Man, check these out. These yours? No. I haven't seen these in 40, 50 years. 40, 50? You don't look that old. Haven't been clean in that long either. You know who these belong to? Willie Slocum. See the initials? Let me dance. Willie who? Willie the Wizard Slocum. The Harlem Rens. Only the best player on the best team to ever run the hardwood. Sorry, you never heard of him. The Wrens were the cream of the old Negro clubs back in the 20s and 30s. In 1933, they won 88 straight. See this dust? Imagine a cloud of stars. A team filled with the brightest stars in basketball. But the wizards shine the brightest. Uh, only five foot six, but he could outjump any man on the court. Had more moves than his anus himself. <laughs> Slocum invented half of it. And shoot, what? For three straight seasons, he averaged more than 40 points a game. And that was long before them fooled three-pointers. <laughs> and he played every game of his professional life in this one pair of sneakers. Now, don't ask me how they lasted that long, because it defies the laws of physics, not to mention personal hygiene. <laughs> but they say he played in them so much and for so long that, that his talent just kind of seeped right into it. And anyone who wears them can play just as great as he did. Get out of here, man. I know, I know, sounds crazy, but that's what his nephew Bobby Slocum told me. College play in the 50s. His junior year, he led his conference in just about everything. You can look that up. Why didn't he keep them? Why would anybody walk away from that? Can't imagine. So, you see anything you want yet? Uh, I guess I'll take these. Sure you can handle them? Not because I think they're magic or anything, but part of history, right? Collector's item. Hey, maybe I could sell them. I doubt that. You sure you don't want something more practical, like a pancake maker? Nah, these are cool. I mean, they come with such a far-fetched story anyway. Thanks. Those sneakers are giving you trouble already. Yeah, thanks. See you later. Switch is high, check the game that I got, yo. These ain't your average hundred dollar pair of shoes. These are filled with magical properties that I can use. I can jump higher with them on it, run faster to it. If you try to steal my ball, then I'ma come after you, yo. Yo, yo, it must be the shoes. Let's run one-on-one, -on -one, son, trust me, you'll lose. Is it the shoes or the person who's in them? Treat sports like the games of life. I try to win them. I've been practicing. I'm ready for the game. That was pretty good, huh? Pretty good? You're amazing! Are you varsity? Not yet.
Harris Shoes, Mr. Mercado's office. Could you hold on, please? Mm. Mm -mm. Mr. Diamond is here. I'll do the BBC show. Girl, you're so fine. Baby, if you just let me Ah, help. Mr. Diamond. Hey. Mr. Mercado, we'll see you now. Good, good. OK? Right this way? I think you know the way. Oh, yeah. OK. Having a nice day? Oh, yeah. I see you got some uh, new stuff around here. No, the furniture's all the same. It's like doing a $20 million commercial for my shoe. What? That's right. Look, you just make sure, you just make sure that Eris and the Duke of Dunk are in business for a very long time. You got that? That's right. You do that. Money! Do you hear that? You do that. One more thing. <laughs> Did I say the thing? Did I? <laughs> Joe. I'm sorry, it's so crazy around here. You're crazy all the way to the bank. I've been checking your stock prices up 30% since you uh, introduced that last Duke of Dunk line. Uh, what does that mean to you personally, like 40, 50 million? You making a point to Mr. Mercado, Mr. Diamond? No, not at all, Aldo. My point is no point at all. <laughs> I'm just glad to be representing the heiress shoes to the community. And remember, it was me that brought you Alvin Duke when he was just, you know. Yeah, Joe, Joe, it's been several years. You haven't brought us a winner since. You know, that's the exact reason why we brought you here, Aldo. We've been personally pleased with the services that you have rendered to Eris Shoes over the years, Mr. Diamond. But it appears that recently... Nope. No, 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 I, I, I just found the next one. I just found the next Duke of Dunn. Who is he? Kid named Roscoe Banks. Oh, the Roscoe Banks. Should be Roscoe Dunks, because he's a Skywalker. Bam! All right, let's see. Roscoe Banks. Well, he looks good. Three years varsity. He's like a highly skilled player here. Georgetown interested for a college team. He's been That's talking exactly about this exactly what Roscoe I'm talking for two about, years, Joe. Sir. It's two years you've been talking about this guy. Two years, nothing else. And we pay you to give away free merchandise. Well, it is a little, you know, tough out there. I mean, you just can't slice off basketball town like it's pepperoni now. No. So we're slicing off dead wood around here. You know, we want to thank you for your help with the Eris Company and everything you've done for the... All of the services that he's rendered to us and the community the and the neighborhood. And... <laughs> you? You? Money? Me? Hey, forget it, baby. I don't need Joe. I'm Joe Diamond. Uncle Joe, the kids come to me. I'll find the next Duke of Dunk without you. Or you, you flunky. Or you... Plastic, not even leather basketball shoes. Huh, I'd rather wear shoe boxes on my feet before I wear your damn shoes again. You? You? <laughs> Should we get those removed? I'll get some gloves. Reggie, you're gonna be late for school. Look at this mess. This boy really needs to learn how to clean up. Ugh. Who brought these scroungy looking things into the house? Reggie. Reggie Reynolds, you have got to be joking, please. Now you know, these have got to go. Mama, I can't find that pink address book I got at the street fair. Mama, what scroungy old thing? I everywhere. Look, Rosa, honey, I gotta go to work. I can't spend the morning searching for your pink address book. Mama, what scroungy Thanks, old thing? Mama, give me those, what you doing? Boy, that looks like something the cat wouldn't even drag in. You don't have a cat. My children go to school looking neat and tidy. I like them, OK? There was a time you would beg me for some new sneakers. Now you want to walk around in those scroungy, shabby, beat up. I like them. Well, you're not wearing them to school, OK? OK, I won't wear them to school. I just wear them this afternoon for basketball tryouts. They make you try out to be manager. <laughs> Face. Right to him. I ain't trying to be the hero, girl. I'm the hero. You're my hero, right? Sure. Show. <laughs> hey, water boy. <laughs> Yo, Reg. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it this afternoon. Well, hey, good for you, man. Yeah, and even if you don't make it, you can still go back to be a team manager. 
I'll make it. Then why you just ask her out, man? Who are you talking about, Courtney? The new girl? She won't go out with me, man. Why say that, Reg? Because girls like players, Khalil. Gotta be a player. I may be new here, but it's become obvious that Will Foster is a place where you don't take your studies seriously. So I'm gonna have to make a few changes. Some of you seem to feel that you deserve a free ride because you got game. That what you think? Well, for all you Alvin Duke wannabes, here's a little something else for you to fantasize about during this afternoon's tryouts. This is a school, not an NBA farm. And none of my students may participate in any sports unless he or she maintains an average of 70% or better in all their classes. Maybe that's how it was at your old school, Mr. Seabrook, but uh, let me explain something to you about how we do things at Will Foster. You're explaining to me? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, somebody should. And I've been here years longer than you. Years that you couldn't count, judging from your math scores. But if you can count to two, you should be able to understand these rules, Roscoe. Rule one, you don't pass math, no basketball. Rule two, review rule one. You got it? Let's see about that. You say something? Oh, nah. Mm -mm. That's funny, I thought I heard something. Oh, no, it wasn't me, Mr. Seabrook. Well, that's good. Because in this classroom, I get the last word. Reggie Reynolds, Leah Robinson, you're gonna take a stroll with me. So, gentlemen, are you scamming me? What? I didn't do anything. You got a 69 on your last test, and a 58 on the one before that, yeah. and this one was an 83. Now, I see the two of you are tight. Are you cheating off of Reggie? No, not like that, Mr. Zebra. Reggie, he's tutoring. It's true, after school. So no passing notes, no looking no, over the no, shoulder. No, no, not like no, that. No. Well, whatever you're doing, keep it up, because it's only going to get tougher. Oh, tougher. <laughs> hey, hey, cut it out. None of that in the hall. Yo, Reggie, I'll holler at you later. It's my next class. And you, you know what your average is in my class? That's 94. You got a solid A. Do you know how many students at my last school got an A from me? I don't know. How many? None. No one. Reggie, have you got any college plans? Yes, I do. Well, you got your applications in? Not yet. Well, listen, how about we get together and we'll do some advanced work after school, some calculus, stuff like that. It'll look good on your transcript, and you might even get a scholarship. I appreciate it, Mr. Seabrook, but I mean, I got basketball this year, so... But the guys just told me you manage the team. No, no, this year I'll be playing. Well, you seem pretty sure about that. Well, I've been practicing. The only noise you should be hearing. Money! Ring, ring! NBA calling for Roscoe! Exactly the kind of talk I don't need in here. Come on, coach, you know I'm not gonna do you wrong. Man. Tryouts are closed, all right? Coach, listen, I'm cool. And just let me observe, this is strictly confidential between you and me. Look, I told you, this gym is my domain. I clear out. I'll clear out when I get a look at your new talent. Look, what part of out don't you understand? C coach. I'm in tight with the shoe companies, and I will make sure you get a little extra money on the side. But get the hell out of my gym now. I think you look tense, Coach. Uh, have you tried aromatherapy? I know a nice little spot. I'll tell you about it. Your gym? I scored 47 points in this gym. Had 22 rebounds, 18 assists, same game. All right, gentlemen, bring it in. <laughs> I'm a legend up in here. <laughs> Your gym. <laughs> Man, I'll take you one-on-one -on -one right now. Yo, Jim. You don't know who I am, you better ask somebody. All right, for those of you who are new to the school, I'm Coach Blake. What we're going to have here, gentlemen, is a team effort. We depend on one another. We work together. We sweat together. And if we have to, we fight together. Fight? I ain't into fight. Whoa, whoa, stretch. Where are you going? 
your name, son? Noah Gregory. You ever tried for my team before? Oh, yeah, I tried it last year, but I didn't make it. Um, <laughs> you had this growth spurt. And so I thought, hey. Yeah. How tall? Six, six. Goofy, huh? Gregory. Congratulations, Goofy. You're part of the team. Oh, cool. All right, Reggie Reynolds, fall in, buddy. Gentlemen, meet the manager of our team. Manager? No, see, coach, I was gonna try out this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, for the team? Yeah. <clears throat> well, come on, you're killing me here, Reynolds. You're a four-star manager. Yeah, I'll continue to be manager, you know, if, if I don't make the team. Yeah, all right. Give a chance, give a chance. Nice kicks, Wedge. Where you getting from, the junkyard? All right, let's go, boys. Two lines down here. Follow me. I'm a player. I don't plan on sitting on the bench. I gotta get in shape. Let's do some wind sprints. Yeah, yo, you get left. Three man weave, done to perfect. Shun, and we shine like the sun. Run together as a team, and we shine and we gleam. Yeah, let's get our practice on. No slack is here. It's time to get the game strong. Try out. Run it last hand right. All right, all right. Make a team ready with the coach snaps his fingers. Right, blows the whistle. Mind blows the crystal clear. How many ballers do we have over here? Sports gear, baggy shorts, indoor courts. We're sweating it. We play hard. We just do it. We put all the energy we have into it. Any break we get, we hit the court. Blowing the sidelines, we the court. the energy, yo. I got the energy, yo. We need the energy, yo. We need the energy, yeah. Try out and keep your eye out for me. All pro, yo. Probably be MVP, yeah. I got the energy, so keep an eye out for me. I'm going to try out and see. Come on, these are tryouts. Back it up. Hey, hey, I'm hitting three steady. It's like I can't miss. This is better than a wish. Switch. Shot calling all in an inch. I never knew what it was like to stroke like this. I feel like breaking someone angle real quick. Give it look as Kevin Foot probably won't stick. Oh, yeah, no, don't look back. Anytime they put up a shot, they smack. My good friend Reggie Reynolds. Reggie Reynolds. <laughs> but I already paid for it. I don't want to do that stupid dancing anymore. Honey, I thought you were starting to like it. You know, I thought you were getting good. What's wrong? I don't like those stuck-up girls. Come here, baby. Sit down. What are they saying to you? They're all skinny as broomsticks. When I start dancing, that I just hate them. Oh, sweetie. If your father was alive, he would tell you that you can't worry about what those girls say. He would tell you that if you want to dance, then you should dance. <laughs> Mama, Monroe, you're not going to believe it. What? I made it. Made what? The basketball team. You're the manager again. No, 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 Mama. I made the varsity basketball team. The jersey, the, the numbers. The girls. Shut up. Hey, no. don't talk like that to your sister. You, you're playing basketball? Mama, I've been practicing all summer, you, secretly. Well, honey, I had plans for you. I mean, the math scholarships. Why do you want this basketball stuff? The girls. Shut up. Hey. Mama, I made the team, and I'm going to play. Well, I don't like it. I'm telling you that. 
The girls do. Thank you. Next in line, please. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. One love, bro. One love. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Miss Reynolds? Uh, Miss Bernie Reynolds. Huh? Yes? Hey, can I talk to you for a moment, please? Sir, there's a lot of people ahead of you. This only take one minute. Hey, she said she's busy. They're getting in line like the rest of us. This is very important. Uh, how about a grande latte? Ah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. So is this how you usually pick up your dates? No, I usually use uh, cognac. <laughs> oh. No, really, I'm a basketball scout, and I want to talk to you about your son, Reggie Reynolds. Basketball scout? Your son is a very talented young man. Very talented, I'm sure you know. <laughs> Reggie. All kind of possibilities for that young man. All kind of possibilities. Have you ever heard of Alvin Duke, the Duke of Dunk? Yeah. I discovered him, and I think Reggie could be next. Wait a minute. Reggie Reynolds? That's the one. Ooh. Well, I'm, I mean, I knew that he had made the basketball team, but I just thought that it was, well, you know, the coach, you know, because he's, he's worked so hard at being the manager. The manager? I think you need to take another look at your boy. I think I can get Reggie a college scholarship with me handling his business, me looking out for him. Oh, his grades will get him into college. Yeah, maybe City College or some little school out in East Podunk. But I'm talking about getting Reggie a full college basketball scholarship to Georgetown or St. John's or Duke. Wait a minute, um, now you, you're talking about Reggie Reynolds from Brooklyn. No, Reggie Reynolds from Lackawanna. <laughs> that is the one. Reggie Reynolds, your boy, oh yes. Your son. Last yeah, you, you were with um, Tamar. That's... Yeah, Tamar and Nichelle. They both have boyfriends on your team. Right, yeah, they, they do. So you must be new in the school, aren't you? Um... Courtney, like a basketball court. So you like basketball? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. You know, maybe we could um get together. I, I mean, I could... Do you want my number? Yes, yeah. And, and, um... If, if you ever need help with your game, then... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um... Here. Thanks, um... I'll give you some time. A call. Thanks for your... Number. Hey, Red. <laughs> so, how was your team practice today, honey? Oh, it was great, Mama. It taught me a good lesson in control. You know what I mean? Well, you must be doing well because, you know, I met an interesting man at work today. What interesting man? Joe Diamond. He says he knows you. Well, yeah, Uncle Joe. He knows all the players. Well, he seems to think that you are some sort of superstar, the next Duke of Dunk. Thinks he can get you a scholarship. He said that? Now, I don't know much about these basketball colleges because I've been working on trying to get you that math scholarship, but... Well, I listened to him, even though he does seem a little too slick for my taste. What, what else did he say, Mama? Would you start on that cheese, please? What did he say, Mama? Well, he said that he seems to think that he can get you into one of those fine universities like um, Georgetown or Duke. Georgetown? Georgetown University, Mama. Did he use those words? Because don't you know, play with well, me, Mama. I thought that the man was phony, but, you know, it, he sounded like he knows this stuff. He's Uncle Joe. He knows. And if he can get me into Georgetown, Mama, 
Then I'm on my way to the NBA, NBA. Hey, just wait. Just, you just stop that talk because you're going to keep with your math like you've been doing all along. Just be a scientist or an engineer or something. NBA. Yeah. Mama, what did you tell him? Well, I told him that if basketball could get you into one of those good colleges, then amen. But you are getting your degree. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Um... That's a Reggie. How do you get so good? I just wish he wouldn't play in those scroungy old sneakers. And a lot of you team are failing there. You're not getting it. See, we can sense victory here. My squad can clinch the city championship. Your squad is failing math. Nice front, Peterson. Okay? They're failing math. Look, maybe you want to just teach them a little better then, huh? And what would a coach know so about teaching math? I know about winning, Seabrook. Well, there's a lot more to winning than teaching. down. As of now, all players will achieve a 70% or better in math class. What? Or they'll be dismissed from the team. Who oh, said that? I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, gentlemen, believe me. But this comes right from the top. I don't like it any more than you do. But this could be a championship season. I think you know that. It's up to you. Coach, can I say something? Check this out, fellas. I've got as much trouble with math as anybody on this team. But lately, I've been doing OK. Or at least enough to tread water. So what's keeping you treading? I've been getting private tutoring, Coach, from Reggie. See? He's been helping me out. You mean giving you answers? Oh, man. I mean, he's been tutoring me. Yo, believe it or not, Roscoe, he's almost as good at math as he is at playing basketball. Well, what's your idea? I say, like, every day before practice, we spend about an hour getting ready for the next math test with Reggie's help. Now, I know if we go to work, fellas, we'll come through all right. Ain't he getting enough attention? Hey, look, I don't want his help. Look, man, I didn't volunteer. Man, I just, I just want to play ball. Well, you may want to play basketball, man, but I need to. And he's raised your grades, Khalil? Couldn't have done it without him, coach. 
Look, man, I got better things to do than to... Whoa, 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 nothing you got is a better thing to do, Reynolds. Now, you want to play ball on this team? Yes. You men have some work to do. All right, so if we know it's that sausage, then we know we only got to find one angle to get the other two, right? Uh, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob, you want to you wanna pay attention for a second? I'm paying attention. Then what did I just say? You just said you want to pay attention for a second. <laughs> No, what I said about an isosceles. Isosceles, what? He's going to do it, man. Roscoe? Roscoe, maybe you can help the class. Nah, uh, maybe you can help him, Cheese Whiz. Since you like soaking up all the glory. Noah. Noah, here. Uh, you want to help the class and tell him what an isosceles triangle is, man? <laughs> yeah, it's that thing in the marching band. With the guy in the... <laughs> yeah. No, it's that Laker offense. <laughs> Can't y'all stop thinking about basketball for just a second? Okay, a second. <laughs> Clear, man. I don't think this is such a good idea, man. How are they gonna pass math, right? I don't know. I don't know, man, because all they think about is basketball. I mean, all they know is basketball. Now the water boy's a coach. Just give it a chance, Roscoe. Damn. Good, good, that's it. All right, you see the pattern you're making? That's right. See how these two sides are the same? Now repeat after me. An isosceles is a triangle with two equal sides. Come on, say it. It's not gonna hurt, fellas. An isosceles is a triangle with two equal sides. This is stupid, man. Do it, Roscoe. Everybody. Oh, we're not even gonna have a team. Come on, let's go, man. Let's go, Reg. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. With two equal sides. Two equal sides. Again, faster. An isosceles. An isosceles. Is a triangle. Is a triangle. With two equal sides. With two equal sides. Equilateral is a triangle with three equal sides. Gotcha. Come on. That's trapezoid. That's right. All right, a parallelogram. It's a quadrilateral. With parallel opposite sides. Parallelogram. With a quadrilateral. With parallel opposite sides. Run it, trapezoid, trapezoid. Run it, trapezoid. That's right, promise, promise. Boom, boom, nine thirty. Happy inverse. All right, parabola. Okay. Huge, huge. Say so bad, man. All day long, baby. Come on, keep it going, keep it going, promise. Dish it out. Hello? Hello? Hey, Courtney. It's it's me, Reggie, from school. Hey, what's up? Yeah, nothing. Just uh, cramming for my math exam. Cool. You? Just studying. Studying, huh? Well, um, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, but as long as I got you on the phone, uh, I was wondering... Maybe you'd like to get a bite to eat? When? Um, I don't know. How's, how's Saturday? Is... Um, I, I don't know. I was supposed to go out tomorrow, but, um, I, you know what? I, I can change it. I, yeah, I'd like to go out Saturday. That'd be cool. Find a buyer for those shoes yet? Buyer? Yeah, for those falling apart red sneakers. You were going to sell them to a collector, remember? Oh, no, no, I haven't gotten around to it yet. Ah. What'd you do with it? You're just taking up space in my closet. Well, like I said, if you ever want to exchange them for something more practical, just stop by the store. Like these. These are self-cleaning specs I just made. Might be interested in. Self-cleaning specs? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, interesting. Great for seeing things the way they really are. You know, if that's something that interests you. Hmm. That's great. Look, I really got to get to school, so. Big math test. Yeah, later. How does he...
think I really did it, Reg, man. I bet you did. And the other guys? Yo, they're feeling good, too. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh, the math test, baby. I just feel like I really passed it, you know? All because of the brilliance of Isosceles Reynolds. Well, uh, I heard Reggie here pass, too. Well, he always does. <laughs> no, I'm talking about with Courtney. Oh, no. You already heard about that? <laughs> hey, we're friends. Come on, tell, man. Okay, so Courtney's sitting at home, right? I, She's doing her nails and... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, let Reggie tell. Well, I don't know. I mean, can't a guy just call up a girl without the whole world knowing? Or why is it such big news? What? Is it big news, Reggie? <clears throat> Gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> and I need those geometry assignments in for tomorrow, all right? Good test. Good test. Yeah, looking like it was good to see I uh, held your test scores back because I didn't want to embarrass you in front of the class. In all my years of teaching, I have never seen such an unbelievable bunch of surprises. These are good test scores, guys. And I will see you all at the game tomorrow. All right? There you go. Roscoe? I don't know. There you go. Good score. There you go. Steve. Hold it right there. Sit down. I didn't give away any Sit eggs. down. How'd you do it? They wouldn't memorize the basics. They wouldn't concentrate, you know? I am aware of that particular problem, yes. So I, uh... I put it into basketball patterns on the court. <laughs> you put it into a context that they understand. Very smart. <laughs> you know, you have got a real gift, Reggie. Now, if you would only knuckle down and do some advanced work, calculus, <laughs> the all sorts of scholarships would come crashing down on you. I want to do something big time. Math isn't it. <sighs> right, I got you. Not saying teaching math. Look, I know. It doesn't pay as much as pro basketball. There's not as much money, not as much prestige, and you don't make headlines doing this, huh? I'm not saying it's less important. Listen, Reggie, if you change your mind, I just want you to know that I'm here to help you. Thanks for the offer. I know what I'm doing. Kid better be good, Diamond. You're dragging us all the way out to Brooklyn. Have I ever sold you an empty cake box? And if I did, it was made out of edible cardboard, right? Come on. Yeah. Question me. I'm an expert on it. Mm -hmm. all right, hands in, hands in, gentlemen. Now. And I hear it. How far are we going this year? All the way! I can't hear you! All the way! All right! One, two, three! Patriots! Eat them up! Eat them up! Sweetheart, Joe Diamond is my name. Give me a call anytime you feel like it. <laughs> Basket, just make like a curtain, baby, and keep hanging. The night is young and the dance has just begun. Reggie Reynolds, I'm here for Courtney. 
Hey, nice. Mr. Sebra? Hey, Reggie. What are you doing here? I live here. I'm Courtney's stepfather. Reggie. Hey. Since we got different last names, you know, we decided not to tell everybody right away. New math teacher. New girl. <laughs> Should have put it together. Well, it's hard enough being new without everyone knowing that the mean math teacher's your stepfather. Mm. You're not mad, are you? Mad? No. <laughs> not at all. So, uh, what time are you going to be home? Let's say Dad, about... Dad, Dad, no homework deadlines for tonight. Good night, Good night Hey, Reggie? Ten o'clock, man. I'm saying, why don't, uh... You eat yet? Okay. I'm saying, let's go grab something to eat. I, I, got, my, I got my partner with me. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let me open up that car door for you. I adore you. You shine so bright, I could never ignore you. To put it bluntly, baby, you the bomb. And you would pleasure me if you accompanied me to the prom. Turning many heads. Yes, just trying to hop up and woo, but check it out. We make the right move, say the right thing. They ain't ready for the positive vibe we gonna bring. Let's go out to eat my treat. We the ones that like to meet. Like to meet. So, maybe I should have told you before about my stepfather. It's okay. I'm rolling with it. Don't worry. Cool. So, what did you say this thing was called again? That's a patty. You never had Jamaican food before? Well, maybe once. It looks kind of like a turnover with meat inside, but <laughs> tastes good. Yeah. yeah, my best friend Khalil's girlfriend's Jamaican. She took us here. We went to the game Friday night. You know, Khalil was looking good until you took over the game. I did, didn't I? Just goes to show, you know. <laughs> Show what? If you practice hard, all kinds of things come your way. All kinds of things. Like a date with Courtney? <laughs> you actually think I went out with you because you won the game Friday night? Well, it does make me more interesting, right? Yeah, but I said I'd go out with you before you won the game. Yes, but I was already on the team. You know, Michelle said you were good at math, but you calculate things way too fast. Make a choice, huh? Don't you have the one Reggie wears? Reggie Miller? No, man. Reggie Reynolds. You know, the red, high tops. Oh, right. You got it. You got it. Oh, my God. You know, the fucking red sneakers. Reggie Reynolds, that is. And give thanks. Never worry about your wealth. Take a look in the mirror and check yourself. You gotta check yourself. Funky Red. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, sir, but I just thought that you should know the effect that these things were having on our product line. This is the kind of trash that kids are buying. This is discount junk. This is like hand-me-downs from a thrift shop! It's because of red sneakers like these that our line, the Duke of Dunk, has sunk. You know, it's this... What? I apologize. I did not mean to rhyme. I'm taking this very seriously. I mean, it's this Reggie Reynolds kid's fault. The whole thing, Reggie Reynolds. That's correct. Joe Dunn. Oh, Diamond, you know, he quit us to handle some young talent. Well, not exactly, sir. You were going to fire him. Hey, that's not the point! The point is, is that this Reggie Randall kid is undercutting us. Now, what are we going to do about that? Why don't you tell me what we're going to do? What are we going to do? No, I'll say what we're going to do. Maybe I should start laying people off. Maybe I should start with you. Maybe I should start with you, mister. I should be pushing pencils on the street, vice president. Wait, Mr. Mercado, I have an idea. Hey! I have an idea. Listen to this. What if we get this 
uh, Reynolds kid to wear our shoes, the Duke of Dunk line. How? 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 Alvin Duke went to the same Brooklyn neighborhood, the same high school. So? So, we get Alvin to meet this Reynolds kid in public. Yeah. You know, passing of the torch, yeah. coronation of the new young Duke. You know, all that sort of jazz. Uh -huh. And when he passes the kid the torch, he's also going to pass the kid. Like some, some, like a bag of poo or something, like a poison candy mm -hmm. or something nasty. No, oh. a spanking new pair of Duke of Dunk sneakers. The kid will snap them up in a heartbeat. And then all the other kids will follow. That's a brilliant idea, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Alvin, my homie. Homie, 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 you are going to be making a personal appearance. I know he's got a city championship to win, just like my main man, Alvin Snag, when he was a Will Foster fe uh, hoopster. What's the problem, Reg Man? No, here stands His Highness, the Duke of Dunk, here because of you, man. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Everything's because of Reggie. It's, it's that let's win tradition that has brought us back to Will Foster today to acknowledge the next star. That's right. Reggie Reynolds. And, and to do the honor, the namesake of the Duke of Dunk sneakers, Alvin Duke of Dunk Duke. Yo, listen up. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, well, I'm here to, uh, to give some love to my man, Reggie, you know. Well, he's my man as long as you don't break all of my records. <laughs> so I'd like to uh, bestow an honor upon Reggie, if I could, for all he is on and off of the court. Come on up here, Reggie. Give it up for him, Reggie. A pair of Aris Duke of Dunk sneakers with my autograph on them. Wear them all the way to the championship, little brother. Oh, come on, Reggie, put them on. Let's see the Duke go one on one. Oh, what? Right, right now? Yeah, put them on. Uh, I can't. No. You can't. One on one. Easy. You, no offense. You know, you're my favorite player. You've always been, and I'm sure these are great shoes. But, um, they're, they're too expensive. This was your idea. I mean, $175 for a pair of shoes? Kids can't afford that. I know I can't. Not on what I make. Mm -hmm. And for me to stand up here and say that kids are nobodies unless they're wearing these shoes, well, then that's just wrong. You tell them superstar! Yes. That Reggie, you know, I'm his math teacher. 
He's some kid, huh? Mm. Well, we'll see. Won't we? <laughs> yeah. What size you? Hey, Daddy, how you feeling, <laughs> boy? You'd be proud, man. No excuses. I understand. Nothing. No. I want you to find out everything you can. Yes, sir. Where he goes, what he does, every dirty little secret. What if he doesn't have any dirty little secrets? Of course he does. He's a teenager. You're right, they're dirty. Reggie! Reggie! You're terrific! I am? I mean, what you said right now. It was so thoughtful. It was so right. I mean, who thinks about how much money kids spend on shoes? Oh, that. Y you know, um, I thought you were getting a little carried away with yourself, but you just showed everyone that you really care about kids, about teaching them right from wrong. Right from wrong. Hey, Bridget, can I get a shot of you? A shot of you sticking these uh, sneakers in the trash, these brand new Aries sneakers. Say, Mercado, how many of my sneakers we giving away to needy kids? <laughs> giving away? Yeah, you know, the kids who can't afford them. Alvin, my homie, we are not in the business of giving away shoes. We're in the business of selling shoes. Well, uh, maybe we can fix all that. Right, my homie? I'll go! Right with you, sir. Now, this is the one that Uncle Joe said you should grab. And this is the one you wanted. A full scholarship to Georgetown. <laughs> and what's this one? Oh. Oh, no, we don't need this. What one is that, Ma? One of those forms for a math scholarship from last year. There isn't any money there, huh? <laughs> we don't need this kind of thing now. Guess not. Oh, honey, I am so sorry that I thought Uncle Joe was a phony. I guess he's the one that came through for you after all. What do you mean, Mama? You always came through for me. Oh, I might have been able to get you a little math scholarship, but I don't know if I could have done all this. And there I was, writing your life for you and probably making it miserable, right? No, Mama. Never. Oh, baby. I am so proud of you. Get it to him, baby. Get it to him. There it is. There it is. Patriots win. And the Will Foster Patriots are going to the finals of the New York City Championship. you go eat for all of us. Yo, I want it for all of us. Don't hand me that show, boy. You want it for you. Yeah. And only you. Grabbing every photo op, every scholarship. Exactly. We're winning, right? I mean, that's the idea. Yo, Yo Reg, man, just get dressed. I mean, we're in the finals. You think we'd be here if it wasn't for me? Oh, if it wasn't for what? Yo, come here, man. Yo, yo, just chill, bro. Yo, get off me, just chill. Go home, Roscoe. Sit down, man. What's wrong with everybody, man? Man, don't worry about it. I won the game, didn't I? That's just it, Reg. You won the game. Just like every other game this season. Your coach doesn't even send any new plays. Just lets you run around and do your thing. But if we win, right? Yeah, I guess so. 
But to someone like Roscoe, Georgetown dropping him and all? They dropped him? Yes, man. You know, it seems like Uncle Joe's pointing the scouts only in your direction. That's why Roscoe's been so pissed lately. Reg, man, you were already on your way to college. This was Roscoe's shot. Yo, he's mean and everything, I'll give you that. But he's had it rough, Reg. Way rougher than you and me. His family breaking up, his sister dying. You need to hear the whole horror story? This thing with Georgetown, man, this was Roscoe's chance. How you think he feels about having that taken away? Think he wants to go out and buy a pair of funky reds? I guess I never really thought about Roscoe, you mm -hmm. know? Reg, man. There's some stuff that you cannot figure out on your calculator. There's some stuff that you have to figure out from here. Oh, come on, man. Let's go celebrate together. We in the finals, baby. I, uh, I think I'm gonna just relax, man. I'm all right. Come on, man. Get dressed. Let's go. No, um, I'm all right. How'd you get so good so fast? Well, to tell you the truth, I always think if a wimp like my brother could learn to play basketball, I could learn one tap step. I'm so proud of you, my baby sis. Look at what you can do. Yeah, but look at what you can do. Me? I even painted my tap shoes red. Did you see? Nail polish. No, LaRoe, don't, don't copy me. You can really tap dance. I mean, you got a talent for it. Reg, it was only a tap dance. You got your photo in the paper. You got your name in headlines. You want to know how I play basketball the way I can? You want to know? All right, how's that fit? Now they're too tight. Well, that's because of the socks I just stuck in there. This better not bruise my delicate feet. Sh look, shut up, here. Just. Take a shot at the basket. I can't make that. I can't even throw the ball that far. LaRoe, stop talking. Shoot. OK, what's going on here? Where'd you get these shoes? That's not the point. The point is, I can't play hoops. Those can. No, no, I want to know where did these come from? A junk dealer. Is he a wizard? I don't know what he is. He's some kind of mystic man. Does he have any tap shoes? You don't need them, LaRoe. And you wouldn't want them. It's like those things are wearing me. I can't really play basketball. So you're telling me you're a fake? Look, LaRoe, I had to tell somebody. It... I mean, you don't know what it's been like. I can't get rid of these things now. I mean, the team's dependent on me, all right? The coach, yeah. I gotta keep playing and winning. Mama was right when she threw these things in the trash. See? Huh? Well, what's the secret? There it is. Well, he's tap dancing in drag. What's wrong what? with that? Oh, he's no. looking no, good. No, 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 no. So that's his, that's his sister. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till she puts on the red sneakers. There. What? Look. 
No, 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 that's impossible. That's impossible. They knew that you were videotaping these. They stayed. No, no, sir. I was amazingly well, careful. How could that be? How I don't know. How could a pair of sneakers have power like that? No, no, I, I want them. Oh, no. No, no, no. I, I, I want them. Oh, no, oh. no. I, sir, Reggie will not accept any offer, no, believe me. I want them immediately. Sir, I hope you're not suggesting stealing them. No, I am suggesting stealing them. I, I want you to get them to the lab. I want them unraveled, and I want to find out the secret. I want them. Well, tomorrow's the big championship game, so we know Reggie's going to be there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I want those sneakers. I want to get them before the game. I want that Reggie Reynolds kid to suffer. I want you and I to sit in the stadium and watch that team lose. Oh, yes. We'll have fun. Oh, yes. We can have fun. We will if have fun. If you don't bother me about things, we can have fun. We will have fun. I want to have some fun. We're going to have fun. Go! Yes. Wait, wait, give me the... Uh, I want to see the rest of the tap dance. Thank you. What is it? No shoes. And Mama. I mean, she's so proud of me right now. And she'd be so disappointed. You didn't tell her about the sneakers, did you? I know how to keep a secret. Why don't you tell her? Wouldn't it make you feel better? Yeah, maybe. I mean, she didn't want me to play hoops anyway. Mama? Mama, can you come in here? Go Patriots! Go Patriots! Ah, 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 ah! Go Patriots! Go Patriots! Woo! Oh, go Patriots! Yay, Patriots! How's my little Air Reggie doing this morning? Oh, look, don't eat your man those waffles, baby. That's gonna weigh you down for that food slam dunk. So, um, um, what did you want, baby? Nothing. Are you sure? Because I will get my little MVP anything he wants. My little magic man. So, look, my boss gave me the day off, and me and La Rosa are gonna be in the stands just cheering. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Oh, oh, baby. A mother couldn't be any prouder of a son than I am today. And I know that your father is watching and he's smiling that beautiful smile of his. I'm so proud of you. You are a star all on your own. Mm. Oh, baby, you're gonna win. I can feel it, I can feel it. We go! Just a few questions, right? Listen, manager last year, leading the team to the finals this year. What's the secret? Uh, look, man, I'm, I'm tired of talking about myself. Uh, talk to some of the other guys on the team. Reggie, you are the team. Yeah, just, just ask some other guys. Okay, Mr. Star. Calling the shots now, huh? Hey, hey, Phil, how about you? Uh, uh, any thoughts about uh, college sports? Me? Uh, I don't need no help from any colleges, man. I'm <laughs> Roscoe. Basketball? It's a high school lark, you know? Uh-huh, and uh, what are your plans after high school? Oh, maybe get into the whole music scene. Thank you. Be a DJ. You know, I'm into the whole hip-hop thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got some big friends in Cali. Yeah, the whole hip-hop thing, that's me. Yo, fuck daddy, let's move. I represent the culture all day in every way possible. And while I'm here, I'd like to say something to the world. Watch out where you go and watch what you do. Jay, throw this on you. It's almost game time. I hope your stomach ain't turning. I can smell that gym aroma. Sneakers gonna be burning. The ref gonna make calls. Blowing their whistle. Hey, 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 hold your horses. We need a situation out there. Now, which one of you cats is Reggie Reynolds? Reggie. Huh? This is Reggie? Okay. There is a mob out there, and they are chanting for this Reggie Reynolds, so it's just too dangerous. So, uh, sir, if you don't mind, I would like to escort this boy personally into the arena. Yeah, all right, all right. Just uh, be careful with him, though. Well, this is our uh, winning hand here. Okay, we will. Okay, the rest of you, would you follow your coach out this way, please? Yeah, you come yeah. with me. It's much safer, okay? Yeah. Over this way, right yeah. through yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, wait, I thought, I thought Reggie Reynolds always wore red sneakers. Yeah, but I'm saving them for the court. Oh, so oh, so they're in the bag. Yeah. Oh, well, let me carry the bag for you. No, no, that's, that's fine. I can carry my own bag. I really don't mind. It's not that heavy, thanks. 
Okay, you probably know best. Let's go right through here. Probably a superstition or something, huh? Carry yeah. your own bag. Yeah. Okay. Looks all clear. Come on, Reg. God. Sorry about that. Craziness, huh? Yeah, I think you'll be safe in here, though. All right. Great. You yeah. got everything? Yeah, thanks. Everything's fine? Yeah, man. Yeah. Got your bag? Yeah. Good. Okay, uh, put her there. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> Knock him dead, cat. Okay? Yeah. There he is. Hey, guys, okay. As promised, I got you a pre-game exclusive interview with basketball's newest sensation, Reggie Reynolds. All right. Okay? He's all alone in there, so this is your big chance. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Yeah. Great. Come on. One steamboat, two steamboat, three steamboat. Reggie, got a minute for an interview? Reggie, how do you feel about this? Hey, 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 hey let me get a picture of yeah, him. Wait, 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 wait,
Gone where? I don't know. I think a security guard snagged him, but I need your help. Uh, Reggie, what can I do? You know everything. Where are they? Reggie, do you believe in yourself? They yeah, sure do. Do you believe that you can win this game with or without those red sneakers? Yes, I do. I really do, Z. Well, all, right. all right. With that belief and this token, you can ride the subway. What is so funny? <laughs> you kill me. Those boys on your team, each one's got a God-given talent for this game. And they've practiced and, and perfected it. And you think you can just go out there and win a game just like that because you once had the right shoes. I think I can. All right, go ahead. Your coach just found you a nice, fresh pair of high tops. How do you know what he... Never mind. You'll see. Welcome basketball fans across the tri-state area. This is Evan Novak bringing you play-by-play -play of the New York City High School Basketball Championship. This year between the Will Foster Patriots and the Staten Island Chargers. And joining me on the broadcast today to help out is the Duke of Dunk himself, Alvin Duke, a former Patriot. You gotta love the fact that your school's in the final. How you doing, Alvin? I'm doing great, Evan. I'm doing great. I mean, you know, being in this gym, it, it's bringing back so many memories from when I went to Will Foster. That's I mean, terrific. Well, you know, everybody's marveled at, and I'm sure you have as well, the boy wonder from the Patriots. That's Reggie Reynolds. I mean, he came out of nowhere, and this team, well, here we go. Here's the tip-off. Let's get to the action. And the New York City High School Basketball Championship's on the way, and the Patriots have control of the ball, and it's in the hands of the man they want it to be, and that's Reggie Reynolds. But what's this? And a turnover already. Reggie Reynolds looking very shaky there. The Chargers have the ball, and they're going to score easily. There's the bucket, and yes, the Chargers are on the board first. You know, Reggie didn't even get back on defense on that one, and that's not a good sign. Let's see if they can't get things started on this trip now. Some decent ball moving around the perimeter, but what a lazy cut by the superstar, Reggie Reynolds. It's another turnover. The Chargers looking down court. You know, they're going to score again here. Boy, this Patriot team takes its lead from Reggie, and they just look flat-footed out there. What are we doing here? Now, certainly not the kind of start Coach Blake and the Patriots want in this big game, but now Khalil Robinson brings it down the right side into Reggie once again. And another bad shot. What is Reggie thinking? Partially blocked there, and the Chargers will take over on the block, and back up court they come. The Patriots look totally confused here with this bad start. Here's a move to the bucket, and Reggie's lost his man, and he gets burned for a three as the Chargers continue to pour it on. I tell you, Reggie Reynolds is not playing like an all-city superstar. Patriots continue to struggle, needs some spark. Oh, beautiful spin move inside by Khalil Robinson, drops the jumper. Good bucket by the Patriots, but is that going to be enough on a day when King Reggie's playing more like a court jester? Well, Reggie's just flailing around out there, not himself at all. Passes off quickly, and now look, he's leveled by the defender. It was an inadvertent bump, but Coach Blake is out on the court complaint, and the ref tees him up, of course. There, there you go, buddy boy. Hey, what's it going to cost me today? How much? Oh! Well, it looks like Coach Blake just got two out of control there, Alvin. Well, you know, the coach, he is a very passionate man. In fact, I remember one time he was down by... Oh, terrific. You know, the Chargers have made the free throw now. They're up another point. And Reggie Reynolds and the Patriots are going to bring the ball back up. The Patriots sure need something. Khalil Robinson and Roscoe Banks have been doing all of the scoring so far. Here's another two from the baseline by Khalil. But on a night when Reggie Reynolds just hasn't shown up, it's not going to be enough, it looks like. And they don't get back on defense here, and the Chargers roar in for another slam and another two. Bad defense by the Patriots. As the Chargers increase their point total, I imagine Coach Blake's blood pressure count is increasing as well. But Reggie Reynolds has been invisible in the first half. You know who's been doing a good job, though, and he nails another baseline jumper, Khalil Robinson. He's keeping him in it. And now Khalil with a steal, gets it to Reggie down the lane. Oh, swatted away by the Chargers. They're going to end up with a reverse jam at the other end. Oh, that was painful to watch. I tell you, Reggie Reynolds did not come very strong down the lane, and he got rejected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Boy, they continue to look disorganized. Another turnover off the hands of Reggie Reynolds again. Boy, this kid is just not playing very well. Maybe the pressure to see championship games getting to them. Well, you know, it is possible. Now, the Chargers have the ball on the turnover. They're bringing it back up court. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? What is Coach Blake doing? You wake up, Uncle. You're killing us. 
The kill of this game was in the dumper, buddy boy. I need this game. That's it, coach. Goodbye. Goodbye? You can't do that to me. 15 years I waited for this damn game. No. Looks as if Coach Blake has lost it again. That's two technicals now. He's out of the game now. 15 years. Look at my game. <laughs> Well, you'll see that every day. You know, that's got to be a first for a championship game, wouldn't you say, Alvin? Well, you know, I have seen Coach Blake hit thrown out of a lot of games before, but I ain't never seen him lose it like that. Well, the foul's back in. The Patriots are bringing it up as the half comes to a close, but it looks like they're going to have to play the rest of this game, this championship game, without their coach. So, end of the first half of the championship game, and the Chargers have a commanding lead. Great game, Reggie. Okay. I'm not a born basketball player, you know, but what am I supposed to do? What about my team? Look at you. Throwing away what you're good at and chasing what you're not. What am I supposed to do? How about the right thing? Well, what's right? Maybe putting these on. Zeke, you got them. You want them? Yes, yes, I want them. You saw what happened out there. I can't play without this magic. I hear you. I mean, magic's about all you got. But if I want to win this game, you know. I know, I know. And without these, what are you? Well, come on, Zeke. If we're gonna win, I need. To... What? I need to use what I've got. Okay. My game is off. I suck. I'm sorry. But we can still win this thing. All we need is the right coach calling the right plays. We ain't got one. That's for sure. Yes, we do. Who? Me. Unbelievable. Now he thinks he can really be the coach, too? First coaching rule. Reynolds is benched. Go coach. Second. You're in the game. Hey, Roscoe, you're gonna win this thing for us. I want you guys to play this game like like your whole future's depended on it. Okay, I'm hearing you, coach. But, um, tell me, how are we gonna do that? Here's the deal. You guys got a God-given talent for this game. Because you can make magic out there. And because you guys are gonna do something that nobody has ever seen before. And we are back to the action now. The Patriots sure have a mountain to climb if they're going to win this thing. And interestingly, Reggie Reynolds isn't even starting the second half, although he does look like he's up to something. Hey, crack, crack, crack. Hey, I'm going to be coaching the team, all right? Be cool. Alvin, I just got word the official news is in now. The coach for the Patriots for the second half is going to be none other than Reggie Reynolds. Now, that's got to be a first. But, you know, the interesting development here, of course, is that Reggie Reynolds has taken himself out of the game after a disastrous first half. But he's such a key part of their offense, such a key weapon all year long. you got to wonder who they're going to go to for scoring now. Do you remember the Assassin's? All right, now, round of vertex. Get down the high pot news. Now they come on the fast break, and Roscoe Banks with a nice finish, tucking that layup in. Looks like they're running some kind of new system, and it's pumped Reggie up, and the Patriots look like a new team out here. They're really starting to lock up the Chargers. The Chargers seem pretty rattled playing against a rejuvenated Patriots team. Take a the left. Uh, a to D, to B, and then a cute angle over to C. A cute angle over to C. Well, that is some kind of play that Reggie's calling. You ever seen anything like that, Alan? I don't think so. But then again, I'm not very good at math. <laughs> back all deep, back all deep. Switch the coverage on the diagonals. What? Switch the coverage on the diagonals. He's switching the cover on the diagonals. That's right. Well, the Patriots are pumped up now, and they are forcing some bad shots by the Chargers. There's another one. The crowd's loving this. 
Down court it goes. Roscoe Banks steps out to three. Quick pump fake there and knocks down the three. What a big shot that is. Patriots are starting to claw their way back into this game. Suddenly, these guys can't miss. And Reggie's got the team believing in itself again. Same plan, basically. Losing, it's losing is, is what we were talking you about. You lose to win. That's, that's the way of the world. So this amazing turnaround continues as the Patriots go to the line. Jacob, always a good foul shooter this year. He knocks down the first one. And I'll tell you, Alvin, if he knocks down the second one here, they will get the deficit to 10 points. And that's a real psychological barrier, too. I mean, they were down 18 at halftime, cut it to 10. Plenty of time left for the Patriots to come all the way back. If they continue this. Patriots continue to work it around in this geometric pattern. I tell you, I'm learning more about math than I did in four years of high school. Yeah. And another slam Here dunk by Roscoe Banks. And boy, the Chargers ever rattled. They turned it over again right in front of their own bench. Post up with the median. Roscoe's got a bisect and lateral leg. What, what the heck is this stuff? This is just geometry. Geometry? What do you mean geometry? Geometry. Get a little trick thrown in. Hey, that's not fair, real. My guys haven't even taken twigs yet. Under 30 seconds to go now, Patriots with the ball, and Roscoe Banks on the cut, gets the ball, beautiful spin move, and another one, off the window it goes, and the Patriots are within one. 15 seconds left in this championship game now, the Chargers have the ball and a one-point lead. The Patriots have made a wonderful comeback, but you gotta wonder if they can come back all the way, Alvin. Hold on, hold on the ball, use the clock, use the clock, man, use the clock. There you go, there you go, use the clock. I don't know, I mean, in situations like these, but it's... Hang on a second, the Patriots are running some kind of freaky defense here. Chargers, of course, just want to run the clock out, but look at the pressure defense by the Patriots. They are working it. Nowhere for the ball handler to go. And they get the steal, and they get the timeout. Did they get the timeout? Yes, they did. And they are going to get a last shot at victory. What a heads-up play. Whose ball is it now? Patriot ball! All right, guys. This is it. It's been a great season. This is for the championship. And then shut him down. You hear me? We're going to run a triple inverse sign curve. And Roscoe, parabola to the rim. This is on you. Take it home for you, coach. So here come the Patriots. They've got to be confident and proud of themselves based on this second half comeback. But now, it's down to one final shot. They nail it. They are the New York City High School Champion. Find something? Yeah. Uh, 30 cents. Could you use a pair of shoes? Yeah. Alright. Here we go, man. Gotta show these cats. Hey, yo, man, pass me the ball, man. 